Uh, hey, Alex, how you doing today? Good, man. Ha- having a great day over there? <laughs> yeah. How are hey, you? Pretty good. My name's Terrell. I'm from Big Gold Belt Media. You know, I'm here to ask you all the all, all the tough hitting questions this this morning and your times. <laughs> um, but uh, based on the true story, um, man, I, I just, you know you come in right from industry. This this fell right into your lap. You know, good 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 opportunity to get some. You know, obviously more exposure on the scene. Everybody's gonna know your name even more now. Uh, after coming from even you know these two big these two great shows that you just came from, um, but you know you're you're playing Ryan in the show, uh, yeah. you know, the unsuspecting Ryan should I should I should I say, um, what was your your experience um, you know coming into this like you know working with the cast the crew and everything like that like what was your experience you know being able to work on the show for eight episodes or you know the episodes that you were in uh, through throughout it. Okay. Uh, well, first, uh, is that a Dragon Ball Z poster right behind it, you? It, it, yeah. <laughs> That's cool. Um, I just had to say that because it's the first thing. <laughs> little One Piece, little Dragon Ball. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's dope. Um, my experience was I was in four of the eight episodes, and it was all my scenes were with Kaylee, mm. and it was tonally very different than the last job I did, industry. This was more of it was it couldn't be more opposite to be honest the the last actress that i i worked with was very um almost like she's very stoic and and almost methodical and Haley is like you know improvisational she's she's uh like uh lucille ball or something she has this energy that's just free and loose and and interchangeable she can go this way go that way she's just all over the place in the most right. exciting you know i'm sure you've, you've she's observed. coming from a coming from a sitcom she's used to improv and stuff like that <laughs> exactly and i mean i'm used to improv dramatically and i have i know how to do that but her ability to kind of like be expressive and yet not feel like it's too much um is very different than like hbo acting or at least right. that feeling of it it's it's more it's lighter but and yet it's equally as truthful um i don't know how she does it i'm i'm kind of amazed every time i'm i'm shocked at how she can just you just go like literally just like all right an action and 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 she goes off and you're just like what where did that come from <laughs> she's just you know we're in a conversation talking about i don't know taco bell or something <laughs> jump into a scene and she's she's just incredible in that way yeah, she, um, she definitely has a lot more range than i expected coming from that show um because i mean you know all, all the shows that we've seen her she's done comedic roles but now we we see her kind of you know in a, in a drama pairing with yourself um and, and another show that's supposed to be funny but yet serious at mm-hmm. the same time like you say you just came from from your last show where like every episode is like super serious right it's mm-hmm. it's, re- it's real intense you know everybody's on edge yeah. Um, and, you know, to come to this and have a, a lighter note, you know, I'm pretty sure that was like a, a breath of fresh air for you. Oh, kind of relax. It, it was so good. <laughs> and the set was fun. Every day was fun. It was relaxing. And the other job was fun in a different way. It was this was more like like pure play, just joy. And I, I, I don't say that lightly. I mean, like every day was was just pleasure it was just it was exactly that it was like um the the other job had had it was more of a heavy joy this was just light and that that can be very freeing when you haven't had that for a while so that was that was what this felt like everyone was so happy (laughs) that's always a good thing yeah you know definitely you know over the the last you know, three years, two years when the pandemic is kicking off, you know, the actor, everybody's job was in crisis, right? You didn't know where you're going to be able to work. You're going to come in. So it's kind of, you know, nice to come back and have this normalcy. And not to say that when I, when I watch television, you know, you want to escape that, not to say that you don't want to see the reflection of the real world, but when you, for a while, I think you had a lot of shows that was like trying to not avoid the the COVID situation mm-hmm. and like throw it in the show and it's like oh man now I gotta deal with this in real life and I gotta deal with this in the show but yeah. the, to see you guys kind of not to say avoid it or because I mean it's completely not even about it but you guys are still able to perform and do your job because I'm not sure when did you guys um uh, record this like when did you when did you film this and everything uh we started around I think November or December um of last year so it was like at the, the tail <laughs> like as we as we were shooting the COVID protocols just ended up going away. Okay. Uh, so it started very lightly. And then by the end, it wasn't even a thing. But I mean, uh, yeah, the last job I did, 
one, a lot of the themes had to do, or not a lot of, but it, the show, like, you know, it incorporated COVID. Right. And while we were shooting, it was people were getting COVID left and right drop. It was a very different experience. This was like, again, tonally, it was light and fun. And you're right. Our lives were were becoming more normal again. It, it was a very like <laughs> drastically different experience. Yeah, I, I, I can only imagine. Um, in, in terms of Ryan, though, I, I did have some I did have a question about your character and, and kind of your input or you know what you wanted you know not not to say that you were kind of like the hot guy of the week for the show and for uh you know Kay- kaylee's character but you know you, you do play a role in the show and i don't want to spoil anything for anybody um but did you have any particular like notes or anything that you wanted to bring to to your character in particular that maybe wasn't written down for you um well we talked about me and craig the creator talked about where the character could go if we were to give get, give it a second season. So the first season, essentially, what I was trying to do in the more grounded scenes was to kind of just create an idea of 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 something that you know Kaylee's character is projecting this fantasy on, and kind of be slightly aloof, kind of mysterious, and then flirtatious in more of in her fantasies a little bit more flirtatious than what he wasn't like like in life if you notice that the actual scenes that are occurring he's much more kind of aloof and then in her fantasy scenes it's much more uh i'm much more boyish much more kind of charming and invested because it's not real it's more that's a clear fantasy right where the scenes where i'm just buying the house um there's a bit of flirtation, but it's not to the degree of her fantasies or obviously like <laughs> i'm not touching her or, or, or uh, right you know uh and all the sexual stuff that's that's not real um so how i tried to play i mean again i i wasn't i wasn't in it a lot but the scenes i i i did play i tried to kind of keep a sense of mystery and yet the the kind of energy of this might happen this might not is that is this real is it not that's kind of the function of the characters is people are kind of going how much of this is actually happening, how much of it is, is how much of it's in her head and how much of it's real. And by the end, you kind of figure, figure that out. You yeah. Know? It's, it's a lot of scenes where I'm like, is this how, you know, like, okay, this, sure. cause there's a lot of breaks. Like, it, it, the way they break it into like, she, it, you can't really tell if it's the transition in between, if this is like the reality, you know, the scene at the con, you know, no. and, and, you know, s- s- uh, other scenes like where, I'm like, okay, is this actually happening? I'm like, okay, it's it's always like that one thing in the scene. I'm like, okay, no, nah, this this is not real. Sure. So, <laughs> but no, it, it was pretty good. You, you, you did a really, really, really good job. Um, what what are, what do we what do we expect expectations going forward? Because like, like I said, going into this, I think I kind of slept on it a little bit. It's such a unique thing that I don't think we've even touched. Like that's been touched on before. Like interview with a serial killer, <laughs> you know, type type scenario, but such a comedic element to it and and just the tonal changes throughout the show as like more and more information gets revealed and like certain characters perspective changes and the way they act changes through throughout the show is, is so unique but what, what are your expectations going forward for the show i would like to see the, how the character because my scenes again were only with kaylee i i mean i've talked with with craig the creator and we've talked about where the where it could go yeah, if we were to go another season, uh, I'd like to see him more involved in other people's narrative threads and kind of see. I I can't really tell tell you what his job is, but it would make it would make a lot of sense. Um, I can't say I don't hope I don't hope I haven't said too much already. No, don't get the uh, <laughs> uh, but yeah, I just I want to I want to see how he interacts with the other characters and and then build more on on what we've already seen and keep that same tone. Keep exploring, yeah. What this uh, having a, a, a this close acquaintance with a serial killer and and what that the the kind of uh, the repercussions of what their actions are going to be or will be with what they've done, and I think it's only going to heighten. I think it's already kind of built built now to a level where it's ready to kind of drastically kind of. Uh, I think it can explode into a really kind of crazy off the off the wall series. I think it has a really strong foundation in the first season. And I'd like to see how crazy can we get this? You know, I think they've already kind of episode seven. And I, did you see the the finale? Yeah, I've, I've seen I've seen the whole thing. Yeah. 
Yeah, it ends on quite a cliffhanger. So I think we've got we've got room to now really really go for it. Okay. Yeah. Well, that, well, now that we've got the work questions out the way, uh, yeah. I, I got a couple questions that's not in uh, you know this show related. Uh, we were just talking about anime. What <laughs> what um. What what animes are you, are you watching? If any, um, you know, do you have any favorites? Um, you know, more, more people, you know, would, wouldn't expect to to hear that you that you got a favorite of. Honestly, I I don't I don't I don't watch it too much anymore. But when I was younger, I watched Dragon Ball Z all the way up to the Boo Saga. Oh, I, I kind of like it started getting a little like Dragon Ball GT wasn't really that became yeah. kind of like Dragon Ball to me, you know, like, but I grew up watching it every week, you know, on Cartoon Network. It was my favorite show. Tsunami, uh, yeah. well, you know, Tsunami, do you remember yeah. when that was happening? Yeah, that was five, o'clock, five o'clock every day. It was, it was, it was a scheduled appointment for me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It was, it was amazing. Um, but I wouldn't say that like I watch it consistently at all now, but I have friends who are huge anime, anime heads. They like love it um so that's that's a huge thing in their lives and because when i was younger it mattered so much to me we still connect on it we you know we sometimes we love to play like uh like we like to like imagine like if we were casting like a live action dragon ball thing like, we've ooh. seen that <laughs> yeah no but like like a real like a real one like right. let me ask you who 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 do you think i would be like what character would you give would you give me if I had to be honest, be honest, be honest. Uh, probably like a Yamcha or something like that. Just based on because Yam- Yamcha's like a ladies' man, you know. He's oh man, man, that is depressing. That you just thrown away. You, you really, I was having a good day, and you really, you really ruined look, look, it. Hold on, hold on. Prior to prior to Dragon Ball Z. Yamcha was one of the strongest characters in the show. Okay. Right. So dra- like he, in he Dragon whole, Ball. Be- yeah. be- before it got ridiculous and everybody got power ups, Yamcha um, was holding his own I, routine. I have to call my friends and tell them this immediately. I was going to, you know who I was going to give you? I was going to give you Gohan. I felt like a real oh, Gohan. <laughs> like, and you give me Yamcha. Oh, man. <laughs> That's what I don't know why that popped in my <laughs> A little, right. bit of, little bit of Wolf Fang Fist. Uh, outside the anime, though, any 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 video games in between sets or any anything like that, or no, I, I'm doing this uh, movie right now. I just flew in like a yes last night. Yeah, so I'm a little jet lag. So I, I'm kind of trying right now to just it's, it's a horror movie and it's oh, uh, man. <laughs> it's like uh, it's really intense. Yeah. yeah, um, but it's a it's a great all 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 black cast uh, for Hulu and it's really. Um, dangerous you know i'm really excited to do it so i'm just trying to stay focused make sure i write that down because I'm, I'm always covering uh all the hulu movies and stuff anyway so I'll make hey, sure yeah. i put that on the list uh but yeah now we know we, you know you got uh we got we got some future work coming we got a new movie to look out for um is, is that um we, obviously you can't really get into any details about that or anything but um no. I'll, 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 outside of the movie was there anything publicly that you could talk about that that was coming up people should look out for you for no, no, I'm more, just 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 doing this right now, and hopefully we get another season of, of based on a true story, and we can oh, yeah. uh, we can go deeper into to not just my character, but everybody's kind of you know I'd love to see more of of, of Tom ba- of Tom's character, uh, the killer. I'd like to know more about his his what uh, you know deep deeper nuances into his background and and what what made him become the way he is what inspires him to kind of is it is it purely joy i i I would like to find out more about his psychology and his upbringing and and his backstory and i i'm excited to do that i hope we get the chance to do that so that's that's hopefully on the horizon who knows i'm look i I'm always hopeful you know to get a second and third season of a show that i watch you know it's always a fear i you know, I, I really just don't like investing time into stuff like, you know, oh, man, this is good. But, you know, if the if the public opinion of something that's not is overall, then they get canceled. And now they, now they got this wave where, you know, now they're wearing streaming where they cancel shows while you're in the middle of watching it. And it just takes you completely out of wanting to watch yeah. the rest of it. I'm like, I don't want to watch this now. This is over. I'm not, I'm not invested. But also, don't you think that like like most shows, the first season, it's like everyone's kind of it's like a basketball team, right? Like you put together a bunch of players and everyone's kind of figuring, figuring out their positions. And then the second season, normally then you begin to find a rhythm. You begin to kind of understand people's strengths and weaknesses and you feel like a sense of 
I, I think normally I notice that, you know, if if things really hit their stride in, in the second season, that's been my experience. So I'm hoping we get the, the opportunity to do that. Oh, absolutely. And Alex, I, I really appreciate you, you know, taking the time today to do this one. This is this definitely been the, the highlight of the day for me. Hey, man, don't. don't... Not my highlight. Yamcha. <laughs> Yamcha. <laughs> Oh my God! Look, it's not a bad call. He's a good character. Oh, um, he's a, he's star on the baseball team. But like, I, I really appreciate you taking the time to do this with me today. I know you, you know get to get yourself some rest, get ready for that movie. Um, I cannot wait to get a second season of based on a true story. Like I said, such such a unique show that I wasn't expecting to to laugh as much as I did. Um, and like I said, the, the ensemble of the cast is incredible. I I, I wouldn't I, the cast and director did an amazing job putting all of you together for this. Uh, but yeah, like I said, uh, hopefully I, we can do something next time. Hopefully that new Hulu movie. Uh, but uh, other than that, uh, I appreciate you for taking the time to do this interview with me today. Cheers, man. Have a great day. You too. See you. Bye. Thanks, Kyle.